Nation, S. Gibbs here for another exciting edition. It is not your den, it is not my den, but it is the Mad Den, a.k.a. The Laser Show, the internet's most passionate show about John Madden football. 2011 sports, 2011 EA sports, ready to kick it off with a bang. Continuing with our uh, Detroit Lions breakdown, show number 6-2. Uh, 62 in the house. We're going to talk about uh, a, sh a, sh a single back compressed set today. Uh, it's one of the better formations, one of the best base formations in the entire game. Potentially could be the best uh, base formation in the game. Uh, we're going to talk, before we get into the plays and tips, we're going to talk about two stud tight ends. Two STUD stud tight ends. And uh, Brandon Pettigrew and Tony Uncle Sheffy Scheffler uh, are the tight ends of the Detroit Lions. Uh, both coming at 6'5", we have Brandon Pettigrew, who is a 73 speed, 76 jump, and a 76 catch. He does possess a 75 run blocking strength, which for a tight end is just out of this world. It's dynamite. Uh, Uncle Sheffy, 6'5", 82 speed, 86 jump, 85 catch, and a 55 run block strength. So Uncle Sheffy is probably a better option if you're going to be looking to use a, a pass in situations or uh, if you know you're going to be passing or if you're more of a pass heavy type uh, type uh, offense, you might want to think about putting Uncle Sheffy in there. Uh, Brandon uh, Pettigrew is more of a run blocking tight end, but he still has some great attributes uh, to be a very effective wide receiver uh, in the passing game. So uh, you can't really go wrong with whoever you choose. It's just really more catered to whoever you're going to pick. But if I had one spot left on my depth chart, it came down. Pettigrew or Uncle Sheffy, I'm going to go with Uncle Sheffy because I'm, I like a pass first type offense, maybe run second, but if I know it's running down, I might put in Pettigrew. If I know it's passing down, keep in Uncle Sheffy. So, you know, utilize it that way. Same way you might want to utilize the quarterbacks from this team. You might want to utilize um, Matt Stafford and uh, Hill in the same manner where, you know, Hill you might want to use in short passing situations, you got a little bit more throw accuracy involved with him, whereas Stafford's a little more downfield uh, downfield threat to Calvin Johnson. So um, we're going to stick with Uncle Sheffy. We're going to try and interchange them because they're both uh, potent guys in the offense. They both bring something to the table uh, that we might want to use. Um, uh, today, though, we'll re-announce uh, the winner of the Thanksgiving story it was uh, Tro30 from the forums. And great story. Uh, we'll just briefly touch upon it. Uh, what, what his story was is every Thanksgiving, um, you know, that they do, they try to play a prank with it on his father. And uh, this, this past Thanksgiving, what they did is they arranged a scenario because they know a, a, a gentleman that works at a local convenience store. Uh, they're close friends with, with the guy that works there uh, and runs the convenience store. And what they did is they uh, arranged so that when his father would come down for Thanksgiving, that he would buy a fake lottery ticket and he'd give it to him. Um, so uh, his father went and bought the fake lottery ticket, and uh, once he bought that, went home, he scratched it. Next thing you know, he's freaking out, flipping out at home. Uh, everyone at home is just kind of like laughing, keeping on the like, oh yeah, sure he won. But you know, he was hard pressed that he won. Come to find out, it was a fake ticket. Uh, I gotta appreciate that humor. I mean, I've heard of that one before. I have heard of that one. I'll tell you that. But I appreciate that uh, you know you sent that story in. So we, you are the winner, Tro Thirty. We'll be sending over uh, your your book. Uh, whatever book you'd like, um, we'll send that to you. Make sure you get that. Uh, but again, uh, so thanks to Tro30 for that. Uh, thanks to Rivalspot.com for making things happen. Uh, always making things happen for us as well as on Twim, uh, as in Madden TV. So thank you, Rivalspot.com. Uh, real quick, little subject, little subject. Bears, Patriots this weekend. Going to be some bad weather. I'm, I'm, heard, I'm hearing from Zan it's going to be bad weather. Also hearing from Zan that... Uh, the Bears' four-man rush might be a little too much for Tom Brady. Um, last I checked, Tom Brady is uh, the greatest quarterback of all time. So pretty sure that Tom Brady is going to be able to handle it. Pretty sure Tomas uh, is going to be able to get the job done. We're going to go in there 28-10. to We're going to come out with victors. We're going to come out 11-2 on our way to the Super Bowl. Um, like I said, guys, I think I might be wrong. I, I predicted 13-3, and and unfortunately I'm wrong. You know, I, I think they're going to go 14-2. and We'll see. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen, but uh, let's get into the tips. Uh, single back Snuggies is what we're going to take a look at today. Single back Snuggies of the Detroit playbook. We're going to get our zoomy zoom on. Our zoomy zoom on the camera. And, uh, anyone out there, if they, you know, want to hear about any exciting stories that you have coming up, it's the holidays, you know, spending time with family, spending time with friends, uh, just looking to 
you know, just be positive and have a good time. If you have any good stories coming up or good trips, love to hear it. Let's hear about it. Uh, send in your stories to our email. You can email me at sgib7 at gmail.com or madambible at gmail.com. Doesn't matter to me. For those that didn't know, though, laser show. You can find us at madambible.com. Head on over to the forums. Great community over there. We're, we're just growing exponentially here, guys. Um, follow me on Twitter, sgib7, show number 62. So, uh, let's see if that's a good good look. That's a good look on the, on the TV. So, the play that we like to come out in is, unfortunately, it's a quick audible. But, that's okay. We're okay with that. Uh, so, we're actually going to set one of our audibles to be the mesh play. Uh, we'll get into that a little later. But, uh, we're going to come out in you know, a normal 4-3 formation, two men under. But the play we want to come out in is the stick uh, play. Stick. Everyone's favorite play. Great play. Cross up man coverage. We'll just run stock. We'll show you how it's effective and why it's effective. So snap, throw, cross up coverage. Guy like Johnson, Brian Johnson, he's got decent speed. Gets up field. But to really understand stick and you know why it works is if you take a look at the defenders here, this receiver is running just a short little sit curl route. He's running a flat route. So, by the way their alignment is set up is that uh, this receiver, this defender is going to be covering the curl, he's going to be covering the flat. So what's going to happen is this, this flat, this sit route just confuses the defense. What's going to happen is he's going to be trailed behind that flat route, and now this defender is left to cover the flat. So as you can see, it's just, it's just a pain in the neck play to defend. I mean, even if you're in zone, it's still a pain in the neck to defend. So, and the worst part about it is you can do it on both sides. You can snap and throw to the other side and do the same thing. So... It's a very, it's just a difficult play. Like you could come out on this and just make your opponent respect it. Like, you, you know what? Sometimes a lot of people don't want to run plays of exhaustion, but the thing is, make your opponent stop it. Make prove, make them prove that they can stop your base play, and that's the point of a base play. So, um, so a couple hot routes you might want to do with this. You may want to consider something along these lines, where you you drag uh, square and you drag Johnson. You got double drags. You got two flat routes. This is just a great combination play. You got such good man beaters all over the field. Um, that's just a, one way you can run it. Another way you can run this play, uh, streak, you could streak uh, Burlington in the far left there, and then you could do a slant out to Johnson, or you could do a slant into Johnson. Uh, that's one combination you could use. Um, we'll show you what that looks like here. So you have both flat routes you can hit, both flat routes you can hit, and then, as you can see, that the flat route uh, crossed up the coverage again and left him, left him behind. Uh, burn my dubber, burn my rubber, eat my rust. I think that was wrong, Clark. That's a reference to Christmas uh, Christmas vacation, if anyone was wondering. Um, another combination I like to do it too as well is so you have Burlington on that that streak uh, on the over on the right side. I want to be have another man beater, so what I do is drag Calvin Johnson, streak uh, Williams, and on this side we have a great combination that's going to beat man as well. So we have double streaks that's going to beat man on this side. As you can see, we're going to cross up coverage all over the field, uh, and that's what we're doing right there. As you can see, the cross coverage is is ultimately what we're looking to do there. We'll show you what that looked like on the replay. So you see the coverage just gets crossed up from the route combinations and as you can see, wide open, literally wide open. Um, the halfback, I mean, depending on what you want to do with the halfback, it's up to you. You can put him on a drag, he'll run a drag right. Um, so I like to sometimes put him on a fade. Just a unique route, out um, of the backfield, a little, little angle route and then cut up field and then, you know, dig and dunk. You're not going to pick it up for big yards, but it's just something to think about. So, uh, that's that play. Another way you can even free up um, the, the, the flat route even uh, more is uh, just to motion over Burlington here. He'll step up. You'll cross up the coverage even more. And you guys have seen me do that from the shotgun formation. It's something that you could do on both sides for this play. Next thing we want to take a look at is the bench, uh, bench play from this formation. It's like wide receiver corners, but you can still get bench out of it. Um, what I like to run this play is because if I'm facing zone... This is a great zone beater, as you can see. What I could do is smart route both outside deep corners, streak both slot receivers, lead the halfback in the block, and just make the read. One of the guys is going to be open against the zone, and as you can see, it was him right there. I think I even had the far right corner as well. We'll take a look at that replay. Yeah, I had. He was open. He was open. I could set that under that zone. Uh, but as you can see, the four vert scheme just uh, it really eats up a cover three defense. Another great way to, to run this is like so. So you have a nice zone beater on this side. 
And then if you also want a man beater, so I streak X and I put circle and drag. So now depending on you know what they are, maybe I don't know what they're in, but now I have a zone beater on the left, a man beater on the right. Uh, I'm under center, so I can still quick pass, get under control. As you can see, I, I beat Calvin Johnson to the left there. Now, um, you know, a lot of guys are going to try a lot of different things to beat this formation. They're going to try a lot of different combinations. So, for example, something you might see uh, is a dime formation, two men under, something very basic like that. So your move might want to be this, halfback dive. Read the box. One DN, one D tackle, two D tackle, two DN. That's four guys in the line, one linebacker. That's five. I have five blockers in the box. I have the advantage here. I want to look to run, look to get, pick up yards. As you can see, I'm just simple dive. I picked up four or five yards. Every time when you have when you have the numbers in the box, you have the numbers in the in, in advantage in the running game. So just follow your blockers and get upfield. It's a great way to just to keep them up. I know everyone loves halfback draws, halfback draws. I don't like halfback draws mainly because they just take a little too long to develop. I, I want I want to get the ball and just run downfield. When I got a guy like Javid Best on my team, are you kidding me? Javid Best? 95 wiggle sticks? You gotta be kidding me. Give him the ball, give him the rock the rock, the magic beam, let him do work, get upfield, uh, and cause some havoc. Um, so that's our run play from this. So anytime you might see like a dime formation or, or something, maybe they've got the linebacker, the middle linebacker in the playing zone, something like this, and uh, you know now they're over here. Well, now there's no one in the middle of the field. They're not respecting your run. So so run the ball. Look, I mean, so if they move that linebacker out, the number game is in your advantage. As you can see, I picked up a 30-yard gain on that run by just moving the linebacker out of the area. Um, just, to, just to kind of give you another, a visual, though, watch what happens if you put more guys in the box. So if you put guys in the box, this is what happens. So now, I mean, so now we have the complete disadvantage in the run game because there's there's seven guys in the box. I only have five blocking guys. Watch what watch what should happen. I should get blown up. Doorbell, guys. Doorbell. No, I got it. National Live Internet. Doorbell. You guys, hold on one second. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Uh, so, back here, doorbell rang, guys, duty calls, I had to answer it. Um, so that's that that formation right there. Another great odd well, like this is the mesh. Uh, the reason for that is just you're, you're switching up the way you're going to attack the defense. So again, we have a great man beater uh, with our routes here. We have a great zone beater over here. And we have a great swing route to the halfback. To make this play a little bit better, though, I streak the inside slot receiver. And I drag the outside wide receiver just because I get that better cross up. And also these drags are going to run at different depths. So you see this drag, it's, it's about a yard higher, yard two yards higher than this drag. So they're going to run at different depths. Uh, they don't get crossed up as much as you can see. Bang, look at that. That was wide open coverage. Just off a drag, just off a drag. Uh, we'll show you what that looks like. So here you are. Drag, drags, drags. So that's that. Uh, I'll show you now against what that looked like against zone. So now they're low cover three. Now I'm running this. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Mix them in. Bang. How's that feel? Guys, another great addition. IMS gives. I am the hostess with the mostest. It is not your den. It is not my den. But it is the Mad Den, a.k.a. the Laser Show. The internet's most passionate show about John Madden football. 2011 EA Sports. You and me together. A whole lot of you, and only a little ton of part of me, we're changing the Madden community, aren't we?